Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. And today we're back with more cash game action, playing one two with a two hundred dollar buying. All right, so kind of interesting here. You see, open three bet, small four bet. So again, smaller size will have a lot more calls and a lot less four bets. I think I might actually just flat ace king this time. Here and flop king king nine nine. Check check. What do you think can go for value here? And jam. On like queen back or ten rivers, we we'll go for this here. Really hope they just like call down with queens. Sometimes could value ourselves against aces if they decide to check with the two nines being out there, but I think that's pretty. Could be kings full trapping too. But we're talking about rare situations. Is the kings full trapping this time? Kind of frustrating, but I think completely fine to go for it there with ace king trying to target like the queens and the jacks. Here is small blind big blind calls. This is another board where I'll do some. Betting or checking on the flop ace high boards. Oh boy, second nuts and they snack. Snap jam. So it checks through flop. So I'm calling 65 to win 147. Uh, I think I'm going to end up calling. I would fold any other diamond size, probably the queen or the jack here. Part of me is hoping that they'll bet the flop sometimes with the queen of diamonds. Therefore, they don't get to it with this line. And just, wow, well, they flopped the nuts. Okay, that would be why they probably checked it. So, unfortunately, second nuts loses the nuts versus shorter stack there. So, three ace, four suit to get called. Huge flop, top pair with the ace high flush draw. We'll start the bet. Uh, check raises. I think just want to call here. Turn two pair to go along with the flush draw, very nice. So we've face jam, very easy call. And I think if he checks, I'm trying to think what I do, I actually might just check here. I want to be able to keep in if he has worse club draws. We just have the board super locked up right now inside of like a queen or six river. Snap it off, has ace queen. Wow, two pair versus two pair. Don't hit the club, unfortunately. Oh man, not a good start today. Heads up here, flop a massive draw, so just flat pre flop. We'll check raise. Balls, jack on the turn, but turn. And then drill the straight, nice. So, back to our flush comes in, but the sky is here. Bars are straight at least, so we'll jam here. Hopefully I don't have a flush. So we jam it in, snap folds to take it down. Right, so open jack 10 suit to get three bets. A flat here, flop the flush draw. So 222 hands this player's first three bet. I'm going to imagine super strong. They pot the flop. We're going to call here. Drill the spades on the turn. I'm thinking about if I want to lead here against this player specifically. This is an exploit. All right, this is an, an extreme exploit. Gets it in. We call. Has king, queen, so they have top pair. And jack 10 is good. Stand for us. So we get a cold call or the short stack. Uh, it's not going to be balanced when you use hot pot so I can jam turns against them. Normally I'm just going third here. I'm trying to set this up as a two straight hand. All jack turn. Not like the cleanest turn in the world because we were trying to target like queen jack. They lead jam. I mean there's some draws out there so we have to call but not the best turn ever. It's king 10 for the open ender and we do hold though. It's So we open aces and music to our ears, get through that. Put on the four back here. So they call seven, six, three, go quarter pot here. Just calls, who really bad turn. Um, so I mean, a four bet pot in when he is small blind versus hijack, he shouldn't have a lot of five X. I think we still just jam here. Trying to target pairs, specifically pairs that have a diamonds. So we'll jam here. And queens of the diamonds, 71%, 100%. So yeah, I mean, that's why we get to jam there. Um, also, like, I'm going to have bluffs. Like, if I have, like, ace-king, oh, with the ace of diamonds, or even the king of diamonds, I'll probably rip. So we got cutoff open here, through with ace-king suited. So see the call here, 8-5-4. 
I'm gonna go ahead and check back. Turn the nut flush draw. Check again. River the nuts, nice. Nice to be able to have nuts in range when you check twice. <laughs> and bets out. Slightest of overbats. I think we're just gonna jam. Only raise size we're gonna use. Obviously, I snap know I'm doing it, but I'm gonna take some time here as if we had a bluff. Turn like the ace of diamonds into a bluff here. Something crazy like an ace queen and ace of diamonds. And do you see the call? They also had a flush. What a sick river. I need a diamonds. We had ace king suited. So open king queen get three bets. Uh, some flatting, some four betting. We'll four bet here. See the call flop the straight. Nice. So flop the goods here. It's jack 10. My ace in the turn, we'll bet small again. Not the best turn in the world, but. And jam river. So hopefully they have like ace queen here. Hopefully not ace five, ace jack, ace ten. All those would be pretty miserable. I mean, we do lose to some stuff here. Pocket tens, pocket jacks don't jam free. It's not like the greatest run out in the world, but I think we go for value. And has jacks for the boat. So disgusting. Um, here getting four bets. Uh, some jamming. We'll go for it here. Rip in the ace five suited. Call it as ace king. Gonna need a little bit of help. <laughs> That's the help we needed. Oh no, the turn. I needed one five, not two. Oh man. All right. Well, obviously when we get it in behind like that, we'll take a chop. But not really in the. Oh, mood to chop after we flop that well. Right, so we open, get three bets, call here. So I flop a pretty good top pair. Made two clubs out there. That small, just calling. And a spades turn. Uh, kind of an interesting one. I think with two flush draws, I'm trying to think if I can get this in or not. We lose ace 10 as well. I think double flush draw, if they bet three quarters or bigger, I can get this in. These are spots I've been trying to get better at. Yeah, actually, I'm going to get this in on double flush draw. Also has king, queen of spades. We got 72% and good. Nice. So they had the combo draw there. Fortunately, we fade. All right, raise 7 6 suited. Get three bets flat here. Um, flop the gutter with the backdoor hearts. So bets out small will call. Interesting turn here. Thinking about jamming. Check. Bet small in the turn here. It does kind of stink if I get check jammed on. I do open myself up to that possibility. Uh, two on the river. I mean, I can have five, six in range for sure. Seven six, you can see here. I can have pocket. Uh, uh, probably a lot of like. I'm gonna go for this one here. Jam snaps it off. Ace five. All right, we're definitely not getting ace five to fold. So they have the five themselves. Decide to go for the bluff jam. No good. We got cut off open. Three betting jacks on the button. Go four bets. Um, can go either way. Go for a jam this time. Snaps it off. Ace king flipping. Oh, quads. Oh my gosh, what a flop. I saw the ace. I was like, no. And I was like, oh, jack, jack. We're good. So get, get it in and just flop quads. Seems like a, a pretty solid winning strategy there. Get raised. Pulling one here. Uh, bad turn. So the flush comes in. Do you have a diamond herself, but. A lot of their value revolves around like sets, two pairs, or maybe ace king. And I'm gonna check river, and if they jam, I'm just gonna be folding actually. It had to be a completely like wild. Like, what bluff are they coming up with? It have to be like pretty random flop raise. You think a small just feel like they're trying to milk 
like ace king so ends up jamming and then i'm gonna go here their stat line's not super aggressive either which makes i didn't even feel great against the flop raise but all right youtube that wraps up another session here six hours of play at 3296 hands and minus 924 unfortunately we're hitting a bit of a downswing here a couple of really tough sessions recently so Hope you guys at least enjoyed the video and the hands from today's session. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I've linked to my channel in the description below.